What up, my mathletes? This is your host, Mr. Bergman, coming to you live from Chapter 3.1, Graphs of Equations. So the way I'm going to record this is that um, I'm just going to take a little bit of time to explain, and then if you need to pause in order to, to have more time to copy down what you see, then that's fine. I'm expecting you to pause this video. I'm expecting you to take the time to copy down what you see because it uh, doesn't need very much explaining, uh, especially to Algebra 2 students, because most of you have seen this before. So, graph and label the points. You've got negative 3, comma 5. It goes negative 3 to the left and then up 5. 4, comma 3 goes to the right 4 and up 3. Not to be confused with 3, comma 4, which goes over 3 and up 4. Uh, 0, 4 goes left to right 0 and then up 4. Negative 3, 0, 0. And then uh, one thing to keep in mind is that this is these are called ordered pairs because you've got two numbers that are paired together. The first one is the x-coordinate, sometimes called the abscissa, and then the second one is the y-coordinate, sometimes called the ordinate. Pause it if you don't have it completely copied down, but otherwise we'll just move on. Uh, example number two, determine where whether each ordered pair is a solution of, and they give the equation. So all you got to really do is take these numbers and plug them in. And what you see is that negative 5 comma 7, when you plug it into here, negative 5, and 7 gets plugged into here, then it becomes, is that, it becomes negative 10 plus 21. Is that equal to 18? No, it's not. But when you take 3 and 4 and you plug it in for x, and for y, you get 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 4 is 12. Is that equal to 18? Yes, it is. So these are each no or yes kinds of questions. Graph the equation, and they give you some sort of equation. Uh, all you really need to do is make a table of values. The most important thing, or the one common mistake that most people make uh, that many people have made is that you take negatives and you write negative 3 squared and you, uh, we all know that negative 3 times negative 3 is 9 but sometimes when you type it into a calculator or you just are not remembering everything that you need to remember uh, sometimes if you type in negative 3 squared into a calculator then it without the parentheses then it gives you negative 9 because it squares it first and then makes it negative so make sure that when you do that then this is positive 9 uh, and then you can see we have a huge long table. You plug in all these values and you get in the y values. Take the x, and I just, uh, I more or less randomly generated these, although I knew that if I picked uh, these all the way up to 12, we'd get a nice parabola here. So you can pick numbers, make sure you pick some negatives and, ne and some positives, plug them into the equation, and get the y values out. And you should be able to plot these numbers. Connect the dots, label them. There they are. Pause it if you need more time, but I'm just going to move on. You can do the same thing even if you don't fully understand what the equation is going to look like, what the graph is going to turn out to be. Here it says graph xy equals 12. Just to make things a little bit easier for me while making the table, I divided both sides by x. So that I get y equals 12 divided by x. And so y is all by itself. This is going to be y equals 12 divided by 4 is 3. And you notice that 4 times 3 is 12, just like it asks in the original. What are all this, the set of all points that multiply up to 12? Well, here they are. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12. Negative 2 times negative 6 is still positive 12. The way that I calculate them, though, however, is when I generate the table, it's y equals 12 divided by 2 is 6. 12 divided by negative 1 is negative 12. Here, at 0, we get something very interesting. Uh, 12 divided by 0, well, anything divided by 0 is undefined. We just, we've constructed division in such a way that we don't have an answer to this question. What is 12 divided by 0? There is no answer. So what you can write is just undefined. And you can see here on the graph, there's actually, there's a break in the graph. There's no value of y that can satisfy the 12 divided by 0 question. But the other points are here. We connect the dots, and, the other, and we can label them too. 